Number five, determine the molecular mass of the following compounds, and then we have letter D. Yikes. We need to find out what the molecular mass is of this big compound, right? Now, it would be much easier if they gave us the chemical formula for this. So let's find out what it is. Now, when we're finding out a mass, we see in these this structure, we see all these like lines here, right? This is part of the Lewis structure. You guys might not have gotten up to that yet in your class, but just know that this is how your elements are interacting with each other. This has everything to do with electrons. These are covalent bonds. Electrons are so negligible that they do not count for masses. So I don't look at any of these lines, aka the bonds. I'm only looking for those elements. Now, if I zone in on those elements in the whole compound, I see that I have three different ones. I see that I have a P in the middle, which stands for phosphorus. I see that I have these O's all around, and O is oxygen. And then I see I have these H's, and H's are hydrogens. Let's find out what that compound or the chemical formula is. Technically, it doesn't matter which one you start with. Let's start from the outside and work our way in, or maybe we'll, we'll kind of switch it up, but let's see. Let's start with H's. How many hydrogens are in this compound? Well, I have one, two, three. So this would be H3. Now let's do the phosphorus. I have only one purple, uh, one blue <laughs> circle, right? One P. So I just have one phosphorus. And then for oxygen, I have one, two, three, four. So I have O4. This is an acid. This is phosphoric acid, H3PO4. But once again, if, you know, for finding out the mass, it doesn't matter what order you put these in, just as long as you have the right numbers. Now, when you're finding out a mass, we list all the individual elements, right? So I have my, my hydrogen. Ooh, I'll put it over here. I have my hydrogen, my phosphorus, and my oxygen. And we did the hard part. We said that there was three hydrogens. So I say that I have three hydrogens. There was only one phosphorus, right? You can put the one here, but technically you don't have to. But I have one phosphorus. And then I have four oxygens. Now we have to multiply these numbers by what the masses are on the periodic table. Now, your numbers might vary a little bit differently from mine, depending on what periodic table you're using. Uh, but our, our mass at the end should be relatively the same. Now, just know, guys, that these decimal values are your mass numbers, not the whole numbers at the bottom. So not the 1, 8, and the 15. These are your atomic numbers, aka the number of protons. The mass is the number of protons and neutrons. The reason why these are decimal values is because these are the average atomic masses of a hydrogen on this Earth. So I'm going to say that this is the atomic mass. And since we're dealing with such a small scale, right, molecular, so molecule, atoms, right, atomic, we're going to be using the units of AMU. AMU stand for atomic mass unit. So 1.008 AMU is what the average hydrogen weighs. 16 AMU is what the average oxygen weighs. And 30.97 AMU is what the average phosphorus weighs. So I'm going to just put those numbers for the individual elements. So since I have three um, hydrogens in my compound, I have to multiply it by three. The phosphorus would remain the same because I only have one. And then the oxygen, I just got to times that number by 14. Sorry, not 14. Well, that would be big. By four. So three times 1.008 for hydrogen is 3.024 AMU total for hydrogen. Phosphorus would be the same, so 30.97 AMU. And then oxygen would be, uh, what is that, 64. 4 times 16, 64. 
Now, if we want to find the total molecular mass, what do we have to do with these numbers? Yeah, we got to add them up. Boop. So, let's, let's add them up. So we got 64 plus 30.97 plus 3.024. And we get a total molecular mass of 97.994 AMU. And that, my friends, is the final answer. That's the molecular mass of the entire compound H3PO4. Yeah, guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give this video a like. Thank you so much for viewing the video, and I hope that I'm giving you, you know, uh, good help or great help in your chem class. Yeah, good luck on your tests and quizzes, and if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers at the moment, which is unbelievable. It's crazy. So if you can press it, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. But if not, that's okay. Maybe we'll get you next time, okay? But I, I hope you guys have a great, great day. Keep studying hard. Let's, let's, let's do well on those tests and quizzes, all right? See you next time. Bye-bye.